Let's go get Debo Samuel. Let's go get Debo Samuel. Tiger Woods, he's struggling today. I thought he would struggle today in the second round. You know, I had a gr- really great round in the opening round of the Masters. Today he's falling back, but then again, everybody else is falling back. The conditions are really just terrible right now with the wind and such. So we'll see if he ends up making the cut. So, God, there's so much to hit on. My friend from Sports Illustrated, Howard Balzer, Pro Football Hall of Fame, insider and voter, will be with us at the bottom of the hour. We'll talk to him all the things that are going on, especially what's going on in San Francisco. Man, you know what, guys? Let me, let me, hey, maniac, give me a break. Merrill Lynch. Okay. Hey, you know, (laughs) come on, Sills. Okay, relax. But on to me, guy. Oy vey. Oy vey. Look at all of you. You know what? I shouldn't. You know what? I've yearned for this, though. Even Xander did it to me, too. And I know the name of the dude. I just love it because you know why? It's called accountability. Other places, nobody gives a shit. It's all good. Maniac, all good, man. All right. Let's go get Debo Samuel. Let's go get Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel wants a brand new contract. 49ers don't have the money. They don't have the money. They don't have the money. They can't pay them. Only problem is $2 million, I think, under the cap. You can't get aside draft choices. They don't have the money. John Lynch is in a pickle here. And some of you would say, Sills, he's under contract. Well, I saw Tyreek Hill push his ass out of Kansas City. Kansas City had a deal on the table. Kansas City had a contract on the table. Nah. Stephon Diggs. Hey, Rick Spielman, when he was the GM of Minnesota. Okay. Went like this. Hey, get me out of here. I don't want to play here any longer. Oh. Moved him. Devontae Adams. Nah, I'm not signing your contract in Green Bay. Move me. These wide receivers, man. You cost money now. Go get them. Dude, there's nobody in that draft. Nobody in that draft. Nobody in this current draft. And you know what, folks? There may be nobody in next year's draft that can equal the talent and the versatility of what you could do with that dude in San Francisco. And he is a perfect fit for the birds. Blocks in the run game. Runs in the run game. 1,400-yard receiver. What do you have, 600 yards in rushing yards? That guy is the perfect dude for your offense in Philadelphia. He, there is nobody more set up to be a Philadelphia Eagle than Debo Samuel. Traylon Burks, keep him. I'll take that dude in San Fran. Go get him. You got the money. How many draft picks would you give up for Debo Samuel? Debo's told, by the way, this is not really a fantasy because you know why? You see what Debo Samuel did to all the social media? Unfollowed the Niners, took all of his Niner mentions off of his social media platform, wants nothing to do with it until you get him a brand new deal. Go check it out. (laughs) He unfollowed the Niners. said, I don't want to, I'm pissed off right now. You know why? Tyree Kill, Stefan Diggs, and Debo's doing this. Whoa. Hang on for a second here. Why ain't I 
Do you think Tyree kills better than Debo Samuel? Me personally? Absolutely not. You think Stefan Diggs is more valuable to a team than Debo Samuel? Absolutely not. Go get that guy. Call John Lynch up and say, what do you want? I have the assets. Next two years, I got four first rounders. All those second rounders. Sitting there and signing a stiff like they did today is a ridiculous thing. Birdman, we just signed an Olympic winner. We don't need Debo Samuels. You know, as funny as that is, and as sarcastic as that is, I'm, I'm starting to think that they think that way. Two-time Olympic. I don't give a shit who he is. Can he play ball? Big picking, he does fit like a glove. Why not? Here, and something else, too. The dude they just signed today, what's his name, Devin Allen? Barrett was this morning on the middle, goes, who is that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We had to look it up. Oh, yeah, and by the way, he hadn't played since, like, 2016? Is that what it was? Was it 16 or 14? I don't know. Today's signing, Nigel says, is a future gold jacket wear. Let me ask you this, man. And here goes down the point of why you should go after Debo Samuel. You think Devontae Smith helped the growth of Jalen Hurts last year? A rookie wideout. How much do you think he helped Jalen last year? in becoming a quarterback, a Pro Bowl alternate too. How much do you think a rookie wide receiver helped Jalen Hurts? How much? How much did he help? Some? Very little? I'm thinking more very little. Couldn't find him. Really couldn't help him. Devontae Smith didn't help Jalen Hurts last year. Not really. If you're talking 900 yards helping your quarterback, okay. If that's your expectations in Philly of what a star wideout is, hey, you know what the expectations in Philadelphia is for a wide receiver? Maybe it's right down the line of what Devontae did last year. 80 catches right around there, 950 yards. I guess that's a superstar year for you guys. I mean, that's pretty much what you do anyway. Your top wideouts are right around that number. 88 catches, 90 catches, 900 yards. You don't have 1,000-yard receivers. You don't have 100-catch guys. It's not part of your DNA. So maybe he did help them. I don't know. I can't tell. Because in today's NFL, that's 20 years behind the gate. When you start a season, you want to have playmakers on your Y and Z. You want to have a quarterback that can get you out of trouble when you need it through the air, not through the ground. You see, through the ground, once you're behind 10, it's done. Hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but here's another player. Follow me here. This is another player that's now potentially in a disgruntled situation in a place like Deshaun Watson was in Houston that the Eagles could have used, didn't want to go down and pay the $230 million guaranteed. Okay. Don't want to pay that kind of money for a star quarterback. And you know what sucks? Eventually the Eagles are going to have to man up and pay these positions or they're never going to win. And they're going to keep bullshitting their fans. When the Philadelphia Eagles, can I tell you what you need to be in line with? When the Eagles pay $30 million a year for your quarterback, 20 for your wide receiver, and another 20 for your pass rusher, then you'll be in the game. Or the other alternative is draft Tom Brady. Isn't this what we've learned here? And by the way, I'm not going over and over and over and over the same shit every day about whether Jalen is the guy. 
That conversation, I'm bored. Boring. If he's the guy in 2022, by the way, Matt Corral's coming in this week. I think he'll be in the weekend here, or maybe even today. Okay? No one, I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe it's just another tea leaf to read that you're not really sold on the guy you have after the 2022 season. If you want to read that way, okay. Glass half full. Anyway, I don't care. Okay? The draft has Corral. Draft Corral. Devontae Smith is a 1250 guy. In his rookie season, I'm not as high as um, Xander is on Matt Corral coming in and all of a sudden just picking up that system there and all of a sudden becoming an NFL prototypical quarterback, throwing for 4,500 yards. I don't know if I see that yet, okay? I don't see that kid as a 4,500-yard pass. I might be wrong, dude. I've been wrong before, okay? That's not what I'm hearing from scouts, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that should be an indictment on the kid. What I'm saying here, Xander could be dead right. Shit, man. People like Skip Bayless thought that Ryan Leaf would be better than Peyton Manning. The guy in Atlanta, Jerry Glanville, used to make fun of Brett Favre. Hey, Four, come here. Four, you know what that means? NFL, not for long. Used to make fun of him on the sidelines. Now the guy would go on and win a gold jacket in a Super Bowl and be one of the greatest arms in the history of the sport. So that doesn't mean anything. You got to see how these guys get out there and play. All good. Let's go see it. But I'm sick and tired of talking about Jalen the guy or Jalen not the guy. Jalen not the guy. Jalen the guy. Because that's just a cloud for what's going on and cover for what's going on here. Okay. Jalen's your guy. Go get that guy in San Francisco. Go get the guy in San Francisco. Shit, man. You let Tyree Kill go. Why did you get in that conversation? Were you ever into Stefan Diggs conversation when he wanted to leave Minnesota? I highly doubt it. The Eagles struggle at drafting wideouts. There's only one other organization, in my opinion, that struggles more when it comes to drafting premium wide receivers are the New England Patriots. You know, most of those guys were like Wes Welker, Dole, Amendola, and Edelman. Those guys weren't high picks. Their high picks have all sucked. Matt Corral to the rescue? You think Matt Corral could come in and play better than what Jalen played last year with that group of wideouts? That means you don't run the ball as much. You understand that. You know this. Can I tell you what happens? Let's go with Xander's mentality. Say you bring Matt Corral in. You ain't running the ball. That's not why you draft that kid. You don't draft a kid to run the ball 38 times. You draft a kid to throw the ball 38 times. And that's not what the Eagle team does. The Eagles struggle with plus 20-yard pass plays. By the way, how good do you think they are in pass probe? Protecting the quarterback. How good do you think they are in pass protection? You know, the Eagles get this tag of being the best O-line in football, or one of them. How can you tell you don't really have to pass probe that much? You're running the ball 40 times a game. You run the ball 18, 20 times. I don't know. Do you think they're really a good pass protection team? How can you tell? When Wentz was here, he got killed. Wentz held on to the ball too long. All fair. But how can you tell? How can you tell if that unit is really good pass protection? Wentz got sacked a lot last year, too, with a team that had 1,800 yards rushing by one guy, Jonathan Taylor. GT goes, Sills, do you want another quarterback? Not the ones they have in the draft. If all the quarterbacks that I'm looking at in the draft, I'll keep Jalen this year. You had your chance. Now, look, I'll tell you this. If Corral fell to the second or third, I don't know. 
I might take a flyer on that. You're going to need Barrett's right. I think they're going to be, they're, they're looking at potentially, how about this? His attitude is they're going to use Dillard and Gardner Minshew potentially as trade bait and maybe to get more draft choices as they get closer to the April draft in three weeks. They may use those guys as more opportunity to get more of an issue where you're going to get more draft choices. But I showed you, do you know, according to Pro Football Focus, the Philadelphia Eagles are the worst drafting team, not counting last year's draft, but four years previous to that, the Eagles are the worst team in pro football drafting and landing on players that would potentially become starters. They're the worst team in the league. I posted Pro Football Focus's list on my Twitter page at Dan Cilio Show, if you don't believe it. And they're one of the worst at finding stars in the draft. I think they're 29th. And I'm the believe because you got more first round picks that you're going to land on stars. Why? You haven't. You really think Devontae Smith helped Jalen's progression as a quarterback last year? I don't. So drafting another rookie you think helps Jalen. Dude, they're not helping this kid. They're just not helping him. They're not. They're not helping this guy. They're not. Do me a favor. Xander, make sure you send Howard Balls or the link. Appreciate it, brother. Richard, what's the talk in WIP? By the way, I want to show you access. So, like, you know, Xander, Xander was like, he 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 was telling me about um the guy who broke the story, you know, with this Devon Allen kid, Howie, just going with all <laughs> just un, he, turning over every stone to make sure that he looks and tries to find that, you know, that needle in the haystack. What an ass kissing reporter holy cow jesus criminy man wow dude you what you need for christmas what's this guy's name that reported that that guy needs chapstick a box of it for christmas man you must have chap lips brother oh howie can you believe it he signed a guy who was a former Olympic sprinter, hurdler, whatever. (laughs) And no stone goes unturned with Howie. (laughs) You're, hey man, let me tell you this, man. You're glad I'm here. (laughs) But then again, it never really mattered for me wherever I was. Okay, because I would talk like this all the time. I'd rip reporters all the time going, Jesus, criminy, man. Can you get your exhaust pipe off his engine? Holy cow. Can I sit in the front when I'm taking and giving questions to Howie? Man. Oh, my God. What an absolute snowflake. That's the reporters you have in Philly? No stone goes unturned. What's this guy's name, this reporter, dude? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. His name should be Chap Lips. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. (laughs) Oh, Howie, man. I cannot believe that Howie would sign a guy who hasn't played in six years. Look at where he finds these guys. Yeah, really. Zach Paschal and is it Devon or Devin? Here's your two free agent signings for Jalen. Devon Allen, who hasn't played in six years, and Zach Paschal. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Dude, I'm going to take a time out here, man. 
<laughs> and you get on me for for screwing up McLeod's name. <laughs> and you got a guy in your market that's on Howie's exhaust pipe. <laughs> oh my God. Oh mud on, man. Oh Jesus. Dude, this can't get any funnier, man. Matt Corral, rocket arm. Okay, all right. I want Debo Samuel as a Philadelphia Eagle. Okay? Dude, Devon Allen, Zach Paschal, and Devontae Smith. Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. Hit the like button. It's got to get... I'm hoping it gets better and f- we have a little more fun here because I, I I can't keep a straight face any longer with this. <laughs> just I can't. I don't even know where – I can't wait till I get to Atlantic City at Ocean so I we can all sit around. Holy cow. Oh, thank you. Phil's up 5 nothing. <laughs> thank you. Hey. That's a way to go to a timeout. Hit the like button. Keep it right here on the National Football Show.